Good morning. My name is Lukasz Bieni. I'm an application development engineer in Trio and I will give you a short demo on Mach 4 working with the Trio system. In my current setup I use Flex6, Nano and DX4 drives. Ok, let's focus on Mach 4 main window. This is the standard layout where we can see the G-code area, uh, the actual positions of the axes. Uh, if I push one axis on the machine, uh, the position is instantly updated. We can also observe this on toolpath area. The goal is to integrate the plugin with Mach 4 as seamlessly as possible. That's why most of the configuration is done through the standard configuration pages. My test rig is an XYZ laser engraver, so we can see three motors set and configured in axis mapping tab. In the motors tab we can set up our axis. Parameters set in this tab will be used to set up an axis in the controller. We can configure parameters like speed, acceleration or counts per unit for each axis. In the next tab we can set up the homing and software limits for each axis. The parameters like home speed, uh, soft enable, home in place can be set exactly here. Next tab is a configuration for input signals. In my case I have three homing switches connected to three inputs. Uh, the output signals can be configured here and in my case this is the output that is controlling the laser. Uh, okay, after set up the machine we are ready to create some movements. Um, we have an option to jog the axis. We can jog uh, every particular axis. And we can do this even before homing, but we have to remember that software limits are not active. And if hardware limit switches are not configured, we can crush the axis. So let's home the machine. Homing is done on the controller level. In my rig, I use the three homing switches, one for each axis to home machine. Uh, when machine is home, we can use some shortcuts that are available on the main screen. For example, I go to zero, and as you can see, all axes are traveling to zero position. Now we can open the G-code file, and uh, when the G-code file is loaded to the Mach 4, we can see the G-codes on the G-code browser window. And also Mach 4 has built in a simple G-code editor. So if we need to change some parameter within the file, we don't have to leave Mach environment. So when we do some changes on the file, uh, those changes are automatically loaded to Mach 4 environment. And also we can see visual representation of the path in the toolpath window. Okay, let's run our sample G-code program. Uh, during the execution of the program, we can observe the progress on the G-code browser. We can see which particular line in our G-code program is actually executed. The current state of the execution of the program can be observed on the toolpath window. Uh, during the execution also we can stop the program, we can hold the program and also we have possibility to change the feed rate. Uh, okay, let's speed up a little bit our video to see the final result of our test run. I hope you liked the video. In case of any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.